So we just had some massive news that just came out, and I'm honestly very surprised that this has actually finally happened. And here it is from Tom Pelissero. A change in Green Bay. Joe Barry will not return as a Packers defensive coordinator per sources. So, all of us were wondering, with the way that Joe Barry has you know, coached here in Green Bay for three seasons, I would say lots of inconsistency. Near the end of seasons, he has definitely helped this Packers defense get back on track, and the Packers defense played really well against the Cowboys, in especially the first half, and played a pretty solid game against the 49ers to keep that game really close against one of the best offenses in the NFL. But this shows that Matt LaFleur thinks that they can be better on defense, that they can find someone else, another defensive coordinator, to get even more out of these uh, you know, Packers defensive players. And I said a few days ago that I was pretty neutral about this, whether Joe Barry was to, um, you know, for the Packers to let go of him or to keep him. And I really just assume from how loyal Matt LaFleur is and his tendency to keep guys maybe longer than most people think thinks he should, I sort of thought, well, Barry may have earned himself a job once again, but it looks like Matt LaFleur has decided that, you know, Joe Barry, his time in Green Bay, him leading this Packers defense, it's not good enough. And many of you guys have been commenting over the past little while about Matt LaFleur and his comment a few a few weeks ago, or a few a month and a half or so ago, when the Packers were dealing with a lot of problems on defense, and he came out and talked about how the communication, there were so many communication problems, things like that, simple things that you should really have figured out by that point of the season. And he said he was going to become more involved in defense. And at the time, I was like, why why does the you know the guy focused on the offensive play calling need to go spend time with the defense when these are simple issues? Like, should that be the defensive coordinator that's there if you're having problems with simple communication issues? And at the time, I was ready to move on from Barry. He, you know, turned things around for Green Bay, but this time it was not enough. So the Packers are not going to continue with the same formula because last season there was a lot of noise about Barry getting fired. That, that should happen. And then the Packers have a crazy stretch of games to end the season. And this season, Matt LaFleur says, you know what? Even though things ended off somewhat okay, we can do better at defensive coordinator. And so I'm actually excited with this news. Um, I think I am, I'm honestly surprised that it's actually happening. I was, I actually just got back. I actually went to, went to pick up some uh, Chick-fil-A and it's sitting here. And so I need to finish this video soon so I can eat it. Um, but I looked at my phone and I saw the news and I was like, oh my goodness, is this is this real life? I was shocked. I was shocked to see that the Packers finally decide to move on from Joe Barry. And I think the thing with Barry is there was so much inconsistency in his three years in Green Bay. And, um, you know, sort of thinking back on, on things, if it took till the end of your third season to really get things right in the playoffs, you know... Why is that so? Is it because Matt LaFleur went in to the the uh, defensive room and maybe started saying, Barry, hey, do this, do this, do this? That's a possibility. And that's what one, some of you guys have brought up, that maybe when Matt LaFleur said he was going to become more involved in the defense, he really told Joe Barry what to do. That's a possibility. Um, I don't think he you know, probably was in charge of everything, but there's a chance that LaFleur said, you're doing this in a way that I don't think we should do it. Do this instead. And... If that's the case, it makes even more sense why the Packers would move on from Joe Barry. Because let's say, for example, that the, the things that Matt LaFleur is bringing up himself to Barry, if that's what really shifted the defense and made them play better, then of course Matt LaFleur is going to let go of the guy who didn't get the Packers into that position. If Matt LaFleur was one of the reasons that things turned around, then Matt LaFleur clearly knows, Joe Barry, you're not the guy. I'm going to find someone else who can come in here and do something um, you know, to, to get the the most out of these players because there's no doubt there's a ton of talent on this Packers defense and that has been the theme. We always talk about all the first rounders on this Packers defense and the lack of consistency. And so while the Packers defense actually finished the season somewhat okay, 10th best scoring defense in the NFL, some really good games against very solid teams. I do think that you'd question at times how the defense plays on final drives when they need to stop. Couldn't get it against the 49ers. But now Someone else is going to come in here as offensive coordinator in Green Bay, and I'm going to start doing some more research to see maybe who I think should be the guy to come in here. Um, and then once I've done more research on that and really looked at the different options, I'll give my opinion on who I think could make the most sense or who could be the best here in Green Bay. But it's somewhat exciting because 
you know, when you have a new guy come in, it feels like the possibilities are endless. What if we bring a new defensive coordinator in and the Packers defense becomes a, a top five unit in the NFL? What if they become a top five, a top 10 unit because of some legit defensive coordinator where, you know, you have times of success with Barry, but then in the end, there's just a lot of inconsistency. And so we'll see what happens here. I honestly did not think it was going to happen. I did not think it was going to happen. I thought maybe if the Packers had some really bad performances in the playoffs, Joe Barry was going to be gone. But the way they played the past two games, I honestly did not think this was actually going to happen. So crazy to see. And there's going to be a, a you know new defensive coordinator coming in soon. And we'll see who the Packers decide to, to take a look at and interview and things like that. But some very interesting news. If you guys want more Packers content like this, news updates, all that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time.